how can you use Microsoft Excel without a mouse? We've all heard the stories. It's the first week at your new job and the management tells you, you can't use the mouse for Excel because you have to learn the shortcuts. Yes, we all know shortcuts is much faster to maneuver around Excel, but how do you do it? In this video, I'm gonna show you the most important shortcuts. And if you stick to the end, I show you a method which will make the most tedious shortcuts the fastest and easiest to remember. Let's go. To move around, use the arrow keys. To move quicker, press control arrow to move to the last cell of the table or to skip empty cells. Press page down or page up to move one page vertically. Press control home to go to the upper left of your sheet and press control N to go to the bottom right. To select cells, hold down the shift button and move with your arrow keys. To do it even quicker, incorporate the control button and press shift control down like this. If you have a formula in a cell you want to fill down, mark the formula cell and the cells you want to fill and press Ctrl D to fill down. You can also do this horizontally by pressing Ctrl R to fill right. To select the whole table, press Ctrl A. To select a row, press Shift spacebar. To select a column, press Ctrl spacebar. To add a row or a column, press Ctrl plus and to delete it, press Ctrl minus. To maneuver between sheets, press Ctrl page down to move to the right and Ctrl page up to move to the left. To edit a formula in a cell, press F2. You can move around the formula bar using your right and left arrow keys and move to the start or the end using the up and down keys. When typing a function, press tab to select the function without typing the whole name. Press enter to accept or escape to dismiss it. When editing a formula, you can lock a cell using the F4 key. To only lock the column, press it twice, and to only lock the row, press it three times. To add a comment, press Shift F2. To get out of the comment box, press Escape twice. When you have formatted a cell and want to do the same formatting on other cells, press F4. If you want to know what number a part of your formula gives you, then mark the equation in the formula bar and press F9. To get back the formula, press Escape. F9 can also be used to refresh numbers manually. If you have a cell containing the function random, it will update each time you press F9. To right click using your keyboard, press Shift F10. To select an action, press the letter underlined in your action. For instance, press T and enter to delete notes. To access any tool from the ribbon with your keyboard, press the Alt button. Letters representing all the tabs appear on the top. To get to Home, press H. Then new letters appear for every option under your Home tab. To change the font color, press FC. To go back, press Escape. When you find your preferred action, press Enter to confirm. The Alt button is not the fastest option for all commands. For instance, you should copy paste using Ctrl C and V, bold text is Ctrl B, undo is Ctrl Z, auto sum is Alt equal, and percentage format is Shift Ctrl percentage sign. Some old shortcuts are tedious and don't have faster shortcuts. For instance, auto adjust column width. The shortcut is Alt H O I. To make long shortcuts faster, go to Options, then go to Quick Access Toolbar. There you have to choose the tab where the command is located. In this case, it's the Home tab. Click the Auto Fit column width, Add and OK. As a standard, the Quick Access Toolbar is not showing, so press Show Quick Access Toolbar, right click it, and to save space, press Show Above Ribbon. Now it is located on the top, and to auto adjust column width, press Alt 1. 
That's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please leave a like down below. Comment if you have any other suggestions for Excel tutorials and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.